Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome again. In this today's tutorial, we will discuss about the difference between uh, extrude thickness and move face tools. These the these three tools are mainly work with the faces only guys. But there is a difference between them. So I'm going to explain the difference be between the three tools and it may helpful for you when you work with the designs and when you make you complement complement the design okay now just here you you are seeing a surface figure which i had created using the uh, bridge curves not a uh, 3d spline let me show you if you are not trustable uh, let me show the guides and let me hide the surface here you can see i just made this uh, uh, 3D splines using this HTL file only guys uh, with that uh, with this guys I made this uh, made this surface figure just by joining the surfaces and not locked by doing two I already make it a tutorial on this uh, if, you, if you are interested to watch this please to watch here I give the video link in the description so let's jump into the main tutorial let's work with the X2 you already know what is the use of extrude tool it is used to uh, uh, make the sketches into 3d parts and it will only works in the x y and z directions and it will not extrude the part in any other directions like any iron band angle like this let's for example let me sell this whole face and here you can see it is going to extrude and if you want to add, if you want not add, uh, because these are a surface guys. Okay, let's work with this. And it is going to extrude. And uh, here, and you can extrude only the regular faces, and you cannot uh, extrude the curved faces like that. As for example, here you can able to extrude because it is a flat surface. That's why it's working. If you if you want to work. If you want to extrude this curve, is it possible? No, let me sell to that one. See, it's not going to get selected because of it is a curved surface and curved face and it can't able to select by extrude tool. So in, in this times the extrude tool will not work and the conclusion is extrude tool will only work for the flat surfaces. Okay, now extrude this and let's consider the thickness tool. So as we already know, the thickness tool will work and work on any surfaces or uh, any surfaces or any faces that are going to be uh, thick in the part. Either if you perform the surface uh, modeling, you need to do the thicken operation to get make the solid part. As for example, let me tell sell the same face again and see it is going to be X to be extruded as thickness the surface and you can manually increase the uh, distance of the surface like this see it is possible and the another advantage of thickness tool is you can work with the curved surface also see uh, let me set this fillet surface and it's going to be thickened and turn into a solid part see it's actually working and when I click on OK, it's going to be created a new part with the surface. And let me hide this part. You will see, this is a new part and act as a new part, guys. And will not combine with this with this surface part because it is all a surface design. If you want to make it boolean, you need to make the whole part in thickness. Okay, that is the use of advantage of thickness tool. Uh, let me read it again and you can give uh, both directions as, as well as in the extruder also you can use both directions here also available and uh, and that is the use of thickness to advantage okay but uh, when coming to sometimes the thickness tool will not work let's for example uh, it can only work with the limits and will not cross the other limits that is the thickness tool it just won't going to make this is for making the pass thickness that's it okay and let's come to the move tool move face this move face also 
similarly good works like as a uh, thickness stone but there is a difference guys let me select this face here you can see when i select this face this showing an uh, extrude option but when it comes to see actually the face is extruding means we are moving the face like uh, it's we are moving the face dimension like this you see it's actually following the uh, edges the face will follow the edges that is the difference and here you can also um let's for example let's click one and let me give one value here mature uh, black and if you want to change the direction see the face is actually changing and it's not removing but it's changing it's like uh, removing the face shape that is the use of move face tool guys and but for in the extrude and thickness we can't perform it we are just working only the selected face but in the move face it works with the uh, connected faces also that is the difference of uh, extrude thickness and uh, move face tool guys you see you can extrude up to till and it's possible but you cannot remove the part it will uh, like uh, you can't make this hello part into zero let me show you for the solid parts let's extrude this one now click on ok now this is the new part guys and here you can see uh, mm, uh, let me set this face and when i click on remove this part is actually removed if i click remove and keep on and on this the part got disappeared and which means this part got deleted like that part okay and you can do this next to the operation as well as in thickness operation also we can perform that see uh, if you want to remove get remove and give the how much dishes you want it is possible for the remove tool also for thickness also but when come to the move face tool let me select the move face uh, when i click on this face and i actually want to remove this face i want to make this disappear but it will not work it will show error why because if we are the end of faces uh, is reached so this there is no other face to perform the uh, full clear uh, uh, and full clear view. that's why see it's, say, it's saying all constrained the red color indication means it is all constrained that's why it should not work that is the actual use of and the difference of extrude thickness and move face tool guys if you really understand my tutorial please do like share and subscribe our channel and this the difference will make you understand when and where to use these tools in your in your CAD modeling that's all about today's guys thanks for watching have a nice day